Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and today we are downtown Charleston, South Carolina, outside Uptown Social. Yes, Uptown Social. And they also operate the Greasy Spoon out of here. So today we're here to do a very, very massive burrito challenge. Yes, a big breakfast burrito challenge. So the Greasy Spoon is their breakfast operation. It's like uh, every like Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, during brunch hours, which is awesome. So, but this giant breakfast burrito, guys, is huge. I think we're talking about nine pounds, maybe even 10, of just like delicious pulled pork, egg, hash brown, pico de gallo, queso cheese, all that goodness. So it's an absolutely giant burrito. We are only gonna have 15 minutes, yes, 15 minutes. So this is absolutely, like I said, this is brutal. I don't even know we're gonna be able to beat this. But 15 minute time limit to complete this challenge or we'll get it for free, uh, so wish us luck. But yeah, guys, this is a really cool spot. They have multiple floors. It is always, always busy. They have big dining rooms. They have multiple patios. So definitely a very popular spot. So I'm really glad that we get to try it out. And I've heard they are very well known, not only for their pizzas, but for the rest of their menu as well. So with that, let's head on in and have some fun with these food. And like I said, one of the top places in downtown Charleston here. Let's go have some fun. All right, everyone, so here we are with the burrito, and I also have Alec, who is the Director of Culinary Operations, that was quite the title, to tell us a little bit about what is in this burrito. So, what do we actually have in this beautiful monstrosity? All right, so it starts off with five pounds of in-house smoked pork. We brine the pork for two days, and then we smoke it for 12 hours in a home seasoning blend. Dude. Then we have avocado, pico de gallo, homemade queso, hash browns, like everything you could ever want at breakfast just housed inside of this crispy tortilla. I am totally down. We have this lime, is a lime crema, is that what's Yeah, so that's like a sour cream with some lime zest, cilantro. Beautiful, I know, and like you said, you smoke the pulled pork, and this is kind of spicy, you said, right? Yeah, so we use our in-house seasoning. It's like an adobo sauce blend. It has a whole bunch of different kinds of chilies, some warm spices like cumin and nutmeg, some clove in there, just blend it down with some onions, cook it down for a while. Well, that was good. Start here just momentarily. Thank you for uh, you know letting us know a little about the food here. Yeah, and uh, luck. man, yeah, I'm gonna need it. This is this is a, a big burrito, but with that, let's get eating. All right, everyone. So, uh, like you said, only 15 minutes. This is absolutely insane. It's very very large, but I think I'm ready. Hopefully, uh, here actually, I kind of oh, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of rip this piece off. So, how about we get started? Ooh, definitely. Uh, Nice and crispy. I hope we can start us in count of five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Mm. Ooh. Wow. Mm. I pulled pork a bit good too, actually. Hash brown, scrambled eggs. I'm a follow. Sorry if it's a little messy. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are here in Charleston, South Carolina at Uptown Social, here doing an absolutely giant, giant, giant breakfast burrito challenge. So recently they added the kind of brunch breakfast menu, uh, which they call the Greasy Spoon on the weekends. So it's available Friday to Sunday. And here we're doing a giant version of their pulled pork breakfast burrito, which I will say was absolutely delicious. It's very good though. A lot of that queso cheese in there, that sauce. Ooh. Definitely falling apart a little bit though. I might resort to a bit of a spoon. And look at the size of the spoon we got today, guys. This is, uh, we got the right tool for the right job. Man, that is good though. Woo. Nice and warm. Spicy as that is. So as we mentioned, we had a whole bunch of their spiced pulled pork. We also had, you know, guacamole. We had hash browns. We had eggs. We had really everything you could ever want in a burrito with a lime kind of sour cream on top, which was super cool, super unique. The flavor went really well with the spiciness of that pulled pork. Again, that was uh, kind of braised and cooked in chilies. Um, but yeah, overall really delicious. There was an absolute load of queso cheese sauce in it as well. 
Um, so yeah, definitely a big burrito, lots of deliciousness. Would definitely recommend trying one of these, just not a three foot one, you know, maybe try a normal version. So we had only 15 minutes to complete this challenge, which was absolutely nuts. So I knew I was gonna have to hit it really, really, really hard um, to actually be able to complete the challenge because this was an, a giant burrito. I mean, we had over five, like we had five pounds of pulled pork alone. That's crazy. Uh, roughly two and a half inch in. Very, very delicious. No shortage of burrito though. Really like pulled pork, great flavor. Well, I wouldn't say you eat a burrito this big. I definitely recommend trying the normal size one on the freaking weekend menu there. Very, very good. So with no shortage of protein and no shortage of other items, I knew we were gonna have to get to it. So Uptown Social, they do also operate like as a bar and then a restaurant, and then again, they have brunch now. They have a whole bunch of different floors. The place is super cool. I really enjoyed it. The staff were also absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, great food and then great experience. Um, but overall, I mean, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. Big burrito, everybody. But we are in the holy city, Charleston. So I figured I need God's help. I think we got it today. Hopefully. Woo. So let me know down below, are you team Big Burrito or Little Burrito? So that's right, comment Big Burrito or Little Burrito. And at that, let's ultimately see if we can finish up this monstrosity of a burrito. Delicious monstrosity. And that, let's get to the rest of the video. Feel good. <laughs> it's beautiful. The lime and the, the lime and like the pico and everything in here. It really like balances the savoriness of that pork and that queso. So it's very, very enjoyable. Well, this is a big burrito. I am filling up with it, not gonna lie, but uh, well, the pubes are coming too, so. Oh wow. Don't pull too much. <laughs> Don't jinx me yet. Uh, let's try. Oh, All right, guys, down to probably like the last foot, I guess. Whew. Oh, here we go. Down, let's go.
Just finish it up. How about almost eight minutes in? I went here because it's a little quieter, but this place is just bumping right now. Patios, main dining room, busy spot. No doubt. Pico de gallo on there. That pulled pork was really nice. The sauce, I like it. Like you said, kind of like a bit of chilies, but a lot of like warm spices. So it's not just like, a, excuse me, comp <laughs> compliments to the chef. Excuse me. So it's not just like a, not just like a, excuse me, a real heat, but just like a really nice balance. That queso in there is absolutely, it was very luscious. Excuse me, very, very thick. Like I said, lots of comments to the chef today. That's what a burp is, at least that's what I stand by. And what the heck do we have going on here right now? We got, this is something burning. We have, okay, what, what, what is this? This is the, this is my that dessert. That is our birthday cake French toast. House-made Hawaiian funfetti bread. Jeez Louise, that looks beautiful. Okay, well, it's not my birthday, but I guess we'll blow the candle out. No girlfriends for me. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys. This looks... Well, thank you. Okay. Let us... Uh, damn. Okay. So you said uh, house-made fun Freddy, fun Freddy bread? Yep. And we got... Is this icing on it? Yeah. Man, it's like birthday cake. Yeah. By the way, when I, I love birthday cake. Birthday cake is like my favorite flavor of ice cream. And yeah. I've never had a birthday cake French toast. So maybe this will be at least one bite. Hey, one maybe bite. this will be my favorite French toast. I, I have a I have a hunch. Ooh, I'm still covered in burrito, guys, but I ain't waiting. I got no shame. Just give us a give us a taste. Ooh, that is soft, luscious. Oh, that bread is thick. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that is uh that is uh that is juicy. Get that icing going on here. Oh guys, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Woo! Oh, okay. That is fantastic. Man, that icing, that sweet bread is like a Hawaiian bread. Oh, man. Really? This stuff is legal? Hot damn, that is good. Jeez, everybody. All right, well, I'm glad you got, thank you for the dessert, this is awesome. Um, guys, really appreciate the hospitality here. Uh, that is just, that is just sugar. Oh, the best in possible. Oh, man, woo. Definitely a careless whisper moment. With that one, I'm gonna finish this up. So in the meantime, you say it's over here, Top Town Social. Really, really enjoy it. Again, they have the new uh, whole like brunch on uh, the weekends. We're talking Friday to Sunday with the greasy spoon. So definitely check that out. I definitely recommend trying one of those burritos. Again, you don't need one that's three feet long, but definitely try one of them. They have like some favorites like this. And this is on the menu as well. This is a 10 out of 10 must try. That burrito is fantastic. So yeah, seriously, that's it right there. Just go grab yourself some freaking delicious birthday cake French toast. This is heavenly. Like, 
I could eat way too many of these. Um, but everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, that's about it. So you know where to come on by when you're downtown Charleston. Beautiful spot, beautiful city, the holy city. And thank you, God, for this such great food. So I thought everyone, until next time, of course, say happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating. And uh, I'm going to eat this French toast. And with that, have a lovely day. Here, I'll we'll close it off with the French toast. <laughs>